Hi students, in this video I'm going to show you how to trace over an object. For this example I brought in a cardboard box and a sample um, event ticket. So let's get started. You're going to go up to the insert tab, you're going to go to shapes, you're going to look under lines, you're going to grab the, uh, the line that says freeform and you're going to click it. You might need to practice a little bit. So once you uh, click it you'll see a little plus sign if you hold your if you just press your mouse, left mouse button down once and then let go you'll see it get a little larger um, and then you just kind of drag it across and if you press it again and let go you can't hold it down then you can obviously uh, kind of just keep creating straight lines now if you actually hold down the left mouse button then you have control over you know uh, the lines going all over the place like like a little scribble here and if you just let go and double click all right you'll finish it and then you can hit delete so all right well let's actually get started with the tracing of our box so insert shape freeform all right so I'm gonna make my screen a little bit larger so you can see and I'll just shrink it up a little bit all right So watch what I do. I'm going to just pick any side here, and I'm going to start. Let's. I'll start over here. My plus sign, if you can see it, and I will get the corner, right at the corner, and I'm going to click it once, and I'm going to drag it over. All right. I'm going to click it again. I'm going to go down. I'm going to click it again, and I'm going to go over as far as I can. Click it. I'm going to go right along the, the line here. I'm going to keep doing that until my box until it closes out. And when it closes out, I can let go. And then I can go ahead and I can try another side. So I'm going to try another side here. I'll keep going around. Down. Like this. Pretty easy once you get it. I mean, it's not going to be exact, but you can see what's going on here. And, if, and there's my shape. And by the way, um, if you're trying to move things around, it's great to use your arrow keys. Okay. I'm going to pause for one second. Okay, so I like to do this in pieces, as you can see. So I have. Uh, the flaps done and then I'm going to go back to shapes and I'm going to do the inside Let's see if we can get this done pretty quick quick um, don't forget the little gaps as well that's done insert shape side off real quick. I could have probably done a better job, but I was trying to rush through it a little bit. Now, they're all different pieces, but I'm going to move this box out of the way. Now, I probably could fix this area here uh, because it looks like it's not great. But in any case, you get the point. So I can then select it and I can group it. Um, and I made myself a box. I could actually change the color. I could put, uh, you know, I could do, I guess I could have some fun with it, um, bevel it, um, see what it looks like, um, see if it does anything, it can make some you know, interesting looking objects, uh, you can try a bunch of different things, but you also could, if you wanted, you can go into fill color, and you can go to uh, picture, and you know, you can see if we have anything in there that looks like a box, um, material, I don't really see anything, but... 
see we can Let's see we'll try this looks like pretty cool I like it all right now or you can click on each individual object and you can if you want you can even insert you know a picture a separate picture in there if you wanted to do something else like uh, you had a couple of pictures up there there's a picture of an elephant pretty cool all right now I know I showed you how to do uh, use the edit points if you wanted to create shapes I mean you can you can you can just do them uh, uh, freehand on the ticket that you created or you obviously can bring in a shape uh, showed you and lay it on top and then you can use the edit points if you go to edit shape over here at edit points and you can kind of trace over it whatever but the other way to do it, which may actually be a little bit easier, and I'm just going to do, let's try this one on the side here. And same way, insert shapes uh, right here. All right, and watch, I'm just going to click, let's say I like this shape. All right. And I'll just close it off. There you have it. That's it. And by the way, you can still go up to edit shape and you can still edit this if, you, if, if necessary. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this and try it out. Maybe try another object out, if, uh, something online you see, a uh, house, whatever, and you can give it a shot. All right, thanks for watching.